Hi Pisces, how are my fish today, my mermaids and my mermen? My favorite people. I don't want everybody getting jealous, but we are the fish. Anyway, I want to thank you for coming into my room again, and I'm going to be doing the weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of May the 25th to the beginning of June, which is June the 1st. I want to thank you again for coming in to uh, watch my videos and my channel. And every day I'm blessed with all the subscriptions coming in to me. And I feel uh, very grateful for that opportunity to be acknowledging all of you that are leaving me wonderful uh, comments on these videos. Okay, Pisces, your week starts off with a major card. And that major card, my friend, is the Empress card. And the Empress card is telling me that some of you have um, been doing an awful lot of hard work. And now you're going to be bringing in some great rewards for the hard work that you've been doing. And it's almost like they're telling me that you have the Midas touch. No matter what you do, um, you're landing on your feet and coming up roses in all parts of your life for some of you. In, in your marriage, with your children, with your family, with, and your relationships are flourishing all around you pretty lucky. Anyway, um, they're saying that um, enjoy your life around you and know that you deserve all the good things coming into you right now, in the here and in the now. Time of excellent emotional and physical health for you right now. For some of you, that's a really good card. Now, on Tuesday, you've been given an air card, and this particular air card is the Four of Air, and it's telling me that some of you need to take a rest. So perhaps you haven't been feeling well with your health, or you're just overloaded with work that you've been having to deal with, and they're saying it's time to take a rest or actually to take a vacation. And you need to allow more time when making this decision because some of you may not have the resources or the actual time to go away and rest. So they're saying you can rest at home. You can meditate and take yourself to that special place that will relax you and rejuvenate you and recharge your batteries to make you feel a little bit better. The third day of the week, which is Wednesday, you've been given another major card. And this particular major card is the Renewal card. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the Renewal card is all about um, time to move on a new direction. It's pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory, this card right now. It's the end of a project that some of you have been working on or at, you feel like you're at a crossroads. You're on the threshold of making an important change. It could have to do with legal issues in your life. But know that if you're doing this, that, that uh, it's going to, these issues are going to be resolved favorably, in your favor. And for some of you that are out there actually doing tests and exams, know that they're going to go well for you too. Um, I see others making a landmark decision in their life right now. And it has to do with your career and a job change. Anyway, you need to know that this card refers to moving in a different direction, and a new beginning. On Thursday, you've been given the Six of Fire. And the Six of Fire speaks of victory. Good news is on its way, almost to the point of public recognition. So some of you have been waiting for a message to come in and some news to come in. Well, you need to know that it's all good news that's going to arrive. On Friday, you've been given another Earth card, uh, which is uh, the first of two earth cards in this spread for you and this is a ten of earth and it speaks of a very happy family life that some of you are now enjoying the abundance of and it also speaks of financial security for some of you too they're speaking of those that have this that you need to find the magic in some of the small things in your life sit back and smile at the success that you've achieved and it's all been brought on by hard work and integrity on your part the next card you've been given again is an Earth card. And this particular card is the Earth, is the King of Earth. And this particular king is a person around you who's quite mature. He's an older individual. He's very wise. And he's generous, professional, responsible, and he's a very practical individual. So he could either be your doctor, your lawyer, your minister, your uh, your employer, um, your father 
perhaps some of you, it's your husband. Anyway, you'll know he's around you right now. And it's a successful time for you right now, for some of you Pisces. And you need to confidently accept any new opportunities coming into you, particularly the ones that have to do uh, with their jobs. So any new opportunities coming into you in that department, know that you can... Uh, you can accept them and accept them confidently because they're saying it's almost like, again, like the first card said with the Empress, you've got the Midas touch. So go with it. You can't go wrong. Now, on Sunday, you've been given the Two of Air. And I call this the Locking Horns card. And I've shown this card to you before. See, they're, they're, they, they've got their horns locked. They're very different individuals with very different opinions uh, about things. And it's saying some of you are are unable and unwilling to make a decision right now and you're at like a stalemate. You've kind of locked horns with this problem and you're pretending that there isn't one when in reality there is a problem. So um, you, need to, you need to learn from this decision and get yourself out of that stalemate in order to make it. At the end of the week, I did give you that one oracle card again and this is what they sent you. Yeah. What do you desire? Basically, that's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll read this card to you. You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your own heart's desires. These cards were all great cards. Two of them spoke of the Midas touch for you this week. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. So again, what you project, I tell you, you're going to attract. I hope that this reading brought you some benefit and some interest into your week this week, Pisces. And know that I am truly grateful for you tuning into my channel. And uh, that's what keeps me out here doing this. As long as you send me your positive remarks and you keep subscribing to me, I will continue to do these 12 every week for you. Sorry I was a little bit late with the ones that came out this week um, because I was sick and flew uh, home on an airplane out of the country from a week away. And we managed to pick up these bugs wherever we go. And I was one of them that did. So anyway, I thank you for uh, being respectful and understanding my tardiness in getting those other ones out. I leave you again with a quote, my friend. And the quote I leave with you today is, Sometimes the people around you won't understand your journey. They don't have to. It's not for them. If you should want a private reading with me, my website is www. Brenda Tarot spelled T-A-R-O dot info. I want you to know, Pisces, I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.